veteran denied a sense of community. Why? Because her service dog is not welcome. And they said, well, you're welcome, but your dog's not. Whatever she take a picture have. of it. A Gulf War veteran was turned away from the American Legion post on Fort Myers Beach because she brought her service dog. Welcome to the Night Beat. I'm Russ McCaskey. I'm Amanda Hall. The big question tonight is something like this allowed. The Night Beat's Justin Case joins us live outside the post. Justin? Well, Dee Pilkins has been, has been a member of this American Legion post for the past four years. She just got her service dog this past June to help her cope with PTSD and hearing loss. Less than two weeks ago was the first time she actually brought her dog to this American Legion post, but she was turned away. The commander saying no dogs allowed, no exceptions, even for service dogs. He said the only exception he would make is for blind veterans with guide dogs. But tonight, Dee is making it her mission to change this policy and make sure no other veterans are turned away. D. Pilkins fought for this country. She served during the Gulf War in the Army, and she now lives with PTSD and hearing loss. My psychiatrist at the Bedford VA, she noticed a really big change in me without my dog. And so she suggested a service dog, and she helped me find America's vet dogs. All leading to this dog, Beth, joining her life. Beth is a certified service dog from America's Vet Dogs. She really calms me down. She keeps me very, very level. She helps me with my hearing. Yeah, I'm a completely different person now. To say that Beth has given Dee a new leash on life is an understatement, but when a local organization serving veterans would not allow the service dog inside, Dee felt defeated. And they said, well, you're welcome, but your dog's not. And if my dog's not welcome, she is my companion that helps me on a daily basis. And for them to do that, they've just denied me part of my rights under the ADA law. The commander of American Legion Post 274 would not allow Beth inside. He told us the American Legion Post is a private club and does not have to abide by the Americans with Disabilities Act. I just find it to be un-American almost. And the American with American uh, Disabilities Act does allow for some limited exemptions for things like religious organizations and also private clubs, but only if certain uh, qualifications and uh, requirements are met. But D feels like an organization serving American, especially those with disabilities, should make accommodations. Live on the Night Beat, Justin Case, Wink News.